All right, welcome back for everyone that stuck around until here. After the misery that were the first two games, maybe we'll get rewar rewarded right now, though. So let's battle. Okay, so at least we have a keeper, I would say. And a better one than last game. But that's a start. We. And we got some answers, but we are also a bit screwed, so we also got some mana issues that we need to draw out of. Let's see if we can manage that. Uh, guess I'll just put this out. Use it on that guy. Exit that guy to hopefully find stuff. And I guess all this card puncturing blow. That is potentially convenient, because if we find a land next turn, we can... Oh, actually, we can't really do anything yet, because by the time we untap this, it can't attack, so... Not that big of a deal. But yeah, we can we find a land, go Avenger and Magma Spray. Okay, I guess that works too. Guess I'll put it on the 3 3. Because it doesn't really make a lot of sense on the 1 1. I mean, it would deal the damage more this turn, but this guy is not going to attack a whole lot, so. But yeah, this looks a lot better for us than the first two games. Second, just checking how she background. All right, so the levels of my microphone are accurate. Just had to double check because there were issues on the last video. Okay, so guess we'll just go for the birdie bird, and then sort of do this: exert, attack, 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 and then just. Use that on this guy, and I guess I don't really want to throw away the angel. Too powerful. Let's just get rid of the random guy. Or girl, actually. Girl. Don't mind me. But yeah, this looks like we have a realistic shot at winning this, and ace the angel coming in next turn. Well, our Morphog opponent is dirtling around. I approve of this Dirtling. That's neat. Ish. Okay then, fire away, friend. Also, attack away, sure. Hey. Exert. Ship, ship. And untap. Bye bye mountain. That is a decent thing to draw into, I guess. Then our opponent will have to do a lot of jump blocking. Some jump blocking, actually. So that also gives us some options next turn. So things are looking good. Yeah, taking that one damage is very likely a mistake because it means these two are lethal next turn. So honestly, he has a way to stop that. He just killed himself by not trading with the warrior for no reason. And I, right now, it doesn't seem like he's going to be able to stop these two. So that's good. Sure, take that land. Ah, given that he changed steps. He may have like an unsummon or something similar, but I guess we'll find out in a moment.
That's not bad at all. Let's ping away at his creatures, I guess. And we can even ping like two creatures. There goes our angel. I think we want to do that. What do we? Actually, why not? Because it's not doing a whole lot for us right now. And it gets us back the angel. Untap that. Nope, we don't want to use that this time. But we want to shoot them down. All the merfolk. And he scooped it up. Yay! We managed to redeem ourselves and also clear some quests. Nice. Alright, so people that stuck around got rewarded a bit to see the deck work properly against a half decent deck. Alright. Um, hope you guys still had some fun at least and got an impression of the starter deck to choose what starter decks to play with in case you are new to the game or just got a better idea of the starter decks. And yeah, um, that's we are almost done with the starter deck series and next time I'll see you guys with the Azorius deck and then we, we can call it a wrap on the starter decks. Thanks for watching everyone, hope to see you next time. I'm Anu S, this was MCG Arena Starter Decks with the Boros Assault, and I'm out. Bye!